this is such a unique opportunity to come down here. You know, you never hear of an NHL player just stopping in an NHL practice one day. You know, obviously it raised the energy of practice out here, but was it was it fun for you? I mean, it's only a couple hours, but you're back here at the AHL level for a split second. I mean, is that, is that yeah, cool? you know, again, when when uh, when coach brought it up to me, it seemed like a good idea. You know, I have, I have a tremendous amount of respect for the AHL. You know, I spent three years in, in Manitoba, and, you know, I've played over probably about 50, 150 games in the American League, so I'm no stranger to what this league is about and uh, how much it helps you as a player. So, uh, you know, I, I have all the time in the world for this league. And um, again, you know, it was a unique idea that that made sense to me and was easy to do. So, um, again, like I said, it couldn't have been better the, in terms of the guys uh, helping me out and not shooting in my head. They were pretty good about knowing that you're obviously at the top club. These guys down here are doing pretty well. Second in the American Hockey League. Does that make you excited at the top level, knowing that you're going to have some guys maybe someday come up who are pretty good? Yeah, it's, it's, it's encouraging, and we've already seen some of those guys. You know, we've had some real injuries at our, our team, and, uh, you know, we've been drawing guys from here all season long, and they, they haven't seemed to miss a beat here, which is encouraging that uh, it seems like we have a little more depth maybe in the organization than we've had in years past. And, um, you know, we talked about that in training camp day one, uh, Ray Shiro, Coach Hines. Um, you know, we talked about being strong top to bottom, not just the, the uh, NHL team or the American League team, but both organizations having players and, and guys being able to step in and not miss a beat. So they've done a great job here making guys uh, – you know, learning the system and getting them ready to, to step up when they need to. Corey, how close is New Jersey? Obviously, you mentioned the, the new management. Uh, it, it's under. How close are you guys, especially, I guess, given the infusion of talent you occasionally get from Albany? Well, I feel we're, we're close. Again, we're, we're close right now. We're only, what, five or six points out as we speak, and I think a lot of people didn't even expect us to be within earshot, you know, at the trade deadline. So I think we proved a lot of people wrong. You know, we, 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 uh, we still aren't where we want to be. We want to be in the playoffs at this time. But um, I think we've, you know, kind of getting that culture back that the Devils have had in the past of, you know, expectations of success and, and how to carry ourselves and how we want to play. So I think that's been important, too, as we've taken a, a cultural step in the right direction. And, you know, hopefully we can get there this year and, and sneak in the playoffs and have a strong finish. But if not, that we've uh, set that precedent, that building block into next season. You know most of these guys, I assume, for training camps. There's no, I mean, you feel like you fit right in because you. <laughs> you know, it's, like I said, it's, we said, you know, we've had some guys up with us that have come back down and um, guys I've played with before in my career or against. So, you know, I'm familiar with a lot of them and some new faces or guys that you don't know too well. But uh, it's good to see them on the ice. And like I said, it was a good practice. It was up tempo and, um, you know, they, 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 they practice with pace and purpose. So that's great for me. And uh, like I said, you know, the American League's a great league. It's, it's a fun league where. You have a lot of guys around your age, you know, striving for similar things. So, um, you know, it seemed like it was a good locker room and, and everyone's really welcoming.